Hello everybody, Pinstripe here, and welcome to the release of the Hogs of War card game. Now, Stone Sword Games released this digitally onto the Steam Workshop for the Tabletop Simulator. So if you don't already have it and you want to play it, you'll have to buy it over on Steam, or you can head over to the Stone Sword Games' Facebook page and like their most recent post to be in with a chance of winning a Steam key for Tabletop Simulator. Anyway, on to the rules and how to play. We'll start with the super simple steps before getting into the more detailed stuff. First off, the board itself. The rows of pigs in front of each player are called lanes, with yours being known as a friendly lane and your opponents being called the enemy lane. Players will then decide who will be taking the first turn by flipping this coin with either player guessing hogs or tails. The player who ends up going first then deals themselves five supply cards and the other player six cards. Player 1 has 5 cards in order to balance out the fact that they get to take their turn first. The default maximum hand is 6 cards. Once the cards have been dealt, the first player must decide which action they wish to perform. Either to move, hide, play a supply card which includes dealing damage, place a deployable or remove a stun token from themselves. After their turn is complete, the pig that they have just used is rendered exhausted and must be moved down slightly like so. The exhausted pig then cannot be used again until the next round unless a supply card ability gives the hog extra action. So what exactly does each action involve I hear you ask? Well let's start with moving. Players are able to swap either hog's position within their own lane. Only the process of moving the hog you have chosen is considered to have used your action within your own turn. If you choose to hide your pig, then the pig is hidden. A hidden token will be placed on the pig's card, which also means that they immediately regain 10 health and cannot be targeted unless a specific supply card allows it. The process of an enemy pig that is opposite a friendly pig taking action is considered a range of 1, whereas an enemy hog to the immediate left or right of an opposing hog is considered range 2. If you choose to deal damage from your hand of cards, then damage tokens will be placed on top of the targeted pig. Once a pig's health is reduced to zero or less, just as it is in the regular game, then that pig is defeated. The card of the eliminated pig is flipped face down in the player's lane and the lane space, it still exists, it's just rendered empty. When you use a supply card, all the effects listed on the card itself are applied immediately and the card is discarded into a separate pile. To play a weapon card, you simply declare the target by choosing an enemy pig that is within the specified range that I mentioned a moment ago, apply any damage tokens and status effects that are listed on the weapon card before you then discard it. These cards have ongoing effects and are usually deployed within the friendly lane of the pig using the card. Offensive deployables are included as well, such as the minefield card that can be deployed in an enemy lane. The effects of this card remain active even if the lane is empty or contains a defeated pig. The engineer class is an exception to this rule though, as they have the ability to deploy into adjacent lanes. Stunned pigs cannot perform any action except removing the stun token from themselves. Get off me! Alongside these actions, the players will find that the classes they have at their disposal have different abilities and skill cards. Each class has a unique ability that modifies all friendly supply cards of the type named on the pig's card. These abilities can be played in the same way as a supply card, but remember that they can only be used by the specific class or classes named on the skill card. So now you know the basics, let's go over the two phases of gameplay, the war phase and the end phase. This is the part of the game where the actual gameplay happens. So, player one chooses their pig to take one action. The chosen pig completes the action and applies any effects or damage that is dealt by said action. The played pig then becomes exhausted and is moved down, ending player 1's turn and moving on to player 2. This continues going back and forth until all players pigs have been exhausted and all actions have been completed. Then we move to the end phase whereby each player decides how many supply cards they wish to keep and then can discard the rest of them. The player token is then passed to player 2 who becomes the next player to take their turn first at the start of the next round. The new first player, so player 2, draws the supply cards until all players are holding their maximum hand of 6 cards. 
All players then ready up their remaining exhausted pigs and the next round begins. The game is won by the player that has eliminated all of his or her opponent's pigs and that everybody is a very brief overview of the new Hogs the War card game now in digital form on the Steam Workshop able to play it on the tabletop simulator I would definitely recommend it. I will be going over this entire game in much greater detail in future as well as posting some multiplayer gameplay over the next day or so so you can see how this game actually plays out. In the meantime don't forget to check out Stone Store Games' Facebook page to be in with a chance of winning a Steam key and I will catch you guys later for the next one. Peace out everybody. Bye, have a great time!